Today we're gonna be going out to check the Black Friday deals. But, good morning. Hope you feel well. Black Friday, some of you are working, some of you aren't working. I'm getting a, a little bit of Nikki's Nikki's on 58th here. Kedzie on 58th. Getting a little bit of Euro plate breakfast set up here. And uh, I'm gonna smash, give this dude a couple pieces. Gave the kitty cat a couple pieces. She loves it. Jax loves it. And uh, we're going to get off to these stores and check out these Black Friday deals. Go so slept well. Hope Turkey Day went good for you. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys were thankful and shared those things with somebody. Yourself. Shared what you're thankful for with somebody in your family. I know I did. I started it out last night and I just told my family. I said, look, I'm... I just kind of started it out of nowhere. I said, look, this is what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for, for me to be able to provide for my family right now. Nope, euros, tzatziki sauce. I'm thankful to be able to provide for my family right now when my better half doesn't have her main job. And uh, I'm just thankful for my family and my friends and the life that I have and parents and stuff that I have and um, I'm thankful to, to just be living this life and not struggling and just being able to be here for them when they need me and I just uh, I love and appreciate every one of you and I told them that and kind of started a little chain reaction a couple people went around and said what they were thankful for and I was like alright that's good what are you guys thankful for? You know, what did you share with your family? If you don't mind me asking, share it in the comment section. Let me know what you are the most thankful for. Um, I'm thankful for you guys for sure. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys supporting me and believing in me. And I guess making the right person bigger than what they were. Uh, so it's because of you guys that I'm here. And I appreciate that. And I love you guys. I'm going to sit down and eat this food. It's not a very good breakfast, but it's a <laughs> tasteful breakfast. And, uh, and I mean, it's not a very good breakfast. I mean, well, I ain't got a bunch of sugar, carbs and sugar and stuff, and it's just not the ideal breakfast. But for me, this is going to go down the hatch real good. Nikki's on 58th and Ketsy, prime joint. If you're in the Chicagoland area and you can make it to Ketsy and 58th, check out Nikki's. Tell them the Ford Boss, the YouTube guy sent you. And as for Manoli, like Cannoli, his name is Manoli. He runs the joint. Let's get to these tools. It was kind of weird. It wasn't much that I was really impressed with when I went in Home Depot for Black Friday. We just got that DeWalt, um, the $2.99 pack at work. My partner went out and bought that pack for the guys in the shop. It has like a drill and like an impact driver and stuff in it. And you get one free tool with that. So he picked the Atomic half-inch drive, the new one. And on the first vehicle that they were using and on the motor already started making problems and or, uh, making sounds and locking up. So he was like, ah, I don't know about this, man. Anyway, I got a new faucet for the kitchen. I got the guys new baklavas that go over and go down underneath their jacket and stuff. So they have winter protection around their face. Uh, if they got to go out to the lot and get cars and stuff. Because it does get really cold in Chicago. So I bought the guys a bunch of tops that I'm going to put in a storage bin so they can run and grab one if they want to put it on before they go outside so I got a bunch of those and uh got my daughter a few things but well off to the next store I just stopped at shoe carnival to see if I can find some boots some work boots and I did find some uh Carhartt slip-ons that I liked with steel toe in them I don't know were they steel toe no they were they were work boots but they I don't think they were steel toe and they didn't have, I needed an 11. And they only had 12. And bigger. And they had like 9. A couple smaller sizes, but they didn't have exactly what I needed. So off to the next store. Well, that was uh, terrible. <laughs> Just got done at Lowe's and... It's nice to see Craftsman stuff is still around. And it actually looks like they've stepped up their game in some areas. Like they've got a new line called like 
a Craftsman brushless RP series uh, like hand power tools so they looked pretty cool a lot of people were actually stopping to look at them because they had some really good deals on Craftsman hand tools and really good deals on Craftsman like power tools but everything else it was like dude it's not even really that nice of a deal the DeWalt stuff and the, some of the Milwaukee stuff if you bought the really big kits for like $5.99 that had like six or seven tools in it and, and a couple different types of batteries or something sure you might actually be saving $400 but half of those tools that you don't that are not even in that kit or half of the tools that are in that kit most of you already have the tools or you're not going to use half of them especially for the work that we do so I'm not I was not very impressed and then the one thing I was interested in was the DeWalt high torque D what is it called the DC DC 901 I don't know what it is their new high torque it was on sale for $279.99 not in store though so then I go over to Lowe's and it says they are it was uh, $299.99 and you got a decent battery or something with it but you had to order it online so I'm like okay I'll look online later when I get home so I go over to Lowe's because they do advertise they have it in store for $279.99 for the same kit the high torque DeWalt DC I'm just gonna call it the DC 900 series the newest one and I'm I want to look at that and I get to Lowe's and none of them are in the case at all and she was like the lady that was there was like we've been sold out of a lot of this stuff because a lot of this stuff even though it's Black Friday has been actually on the shelves the shelves for sale for like two months now it's just people think all of a sudden Black Friday see her all oh, everybody go out and yeah you might be able to get some awesome stuff at like Best Buy or like some kind of electronics or something like that but most of your box stores like Home Depot Lowe's Menards your Ace Hardware's and stuff like that, there's not gonna be a ton of special deals that you're gonna actually find on Black Friday that's different than anything else pr prior to that two months. It's just people are used to going shopping on Black Friday, but they don't realize that a lot of those sales have already been there for at least weeks before, if not months before. And then by the time Black Friday comes around, we run out of a lot of the stuff because people are like, oh, you said this was your Black Friday sale. No, this was our our holiday this time of this this time of year sale where we start clearing stuff out and getting ready for next year and we put a lot of stuff on special the stuff in the center of the aisles in the boxes on display that are away from the walls that is black friday specials so when you go to the walls and you go look at all the kits and stuff that are that those are not black friday specials those are typically specials that have already been there for a few months the stuff that's in the middle of the aisles on Black Friday, that's the Black Friday specials. Other than that, most of the stuff in most of the stores has already been there on some kind of sale. I didn't know that. I'm going to go pick up my daughter, take her home, let her get ready for a volleyball practice. She's got a mid-afternoon volleyball practice today. And then uh, after I drop her off at volleyball practice, I'm going to go out and try to find some more shopping stuff. But as of right now, Time now, update, 9.51 in the morning on Friday, Black Friday, sucks. I got a new kitchen faucet that's going to go in, pretty nice slender looking one. I got some Duke Cannon uh, Naval Diplomacy Thick Body Wash for men. Uh, I got some bully treats for the dogs. I got a couple things for my daughter for Christmas. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Literally, I got nothing that I wanted to get for work other than the, the head baklavas uh, for the guys at work. Um, I always try to get things for them to make their life easier through the winter around. I'll try to do something for my coworkers or, you know, obviously now my employees um, to help them get through the winter better. Whether it be heated gloves, heated jackets, I'm thinking about for Christmas getting everybody heated jackets just whatever they want. Anyhow, I love y'all. Be blessed. Take care. And maybe there will be a second part two update of Black Friday. But this morning has been bad. No deals. Maybe they're all online. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know what kind of specials you found already because I ain't found nothing really. Take care. Love y'all. Be blessed.